Hey, what's going on guys? So I'm back with another NECA Predator figure review and today we're going to be finishing up the series by taking a look at the Warrior Predator. This one actually is a pretty cool Predator. Um, the mask on this one is a little different and the paint is uh, different compared to the other figures. So this is a really, really cool figure. I'm really happy to get this one here. Uh, if you look at the bottom, there's a picture of the Predator there. Got the war This is the Warrior Predator. Over 25 points of articulation. Packaging, again, is the same as all the other Predators that we have received. You can see that there. Look at the back of the packaging. There's a nice little picture there of the Warrior Predator. And the aliases, RAM, weapons, throwing disc, and wrist blades. Again, the read-up is the same as all the other figures. There's the other Predators from this series but um, again this figure looks really really nice I do like this one I like the paint on this one and uh, again you can find these figures at Toys R Us they, by the time I put this up these figures were already going to be released but what we're going to do is take a quick break and we'll take a closer look at the Warrior Predator so stay tuned guys alright guys we have the Warrior Predator outside of packaging now this one is a really really nice Predator I'm really happy with the way this one came out. I mean the paint, the um, the mask, everything about this figure I really enjoy. Uh, we'll get a quick top to bottom look. As he's doing a 360, there's the uh, throwing disc that the figure does come with. Just a fantastic figure. NECA did a great job in this series. So let's take another quick break and we'll take another closer look at the Warrior Predator. So stay tuned guys. So here's a closer look at the Warrior Predator. Now this Predator is my favorite one. Um, I want to say it's my favorite one out of the three from this series, but I don't know. I could I could be wrong, but this one just is really nice. Uh, we'll get a look at the um, at the helmet here or his mask. Let's see if I can focus. There we go. There's a close look at the mask, which is really really nice. You can see the top of his dome here. Really cool. Here's the dreads, the armor in the back. One thing I was telling you guys about the packaging, be careful because these pop off, the hands pop off. So be careful when you're taking this out. I mean, I can pop it back in, but now that it popped off, it's, it's, very, uh, it's very loose. Not a big deal, but I mean, that's, I'm not like I'm going to be messing with the figure a whole lot, but it's just going to be in display, but still, still really cool. I mean, still be careful with that. Um, so yeah, the mask is really nice. I do, I do like this mask a lot. Here's the uh, little plasma cannon. It's got a little bit of that like this color paint on the the tip there, and it does move. You can see that there. It can go forward and back as well, but you can't do it too much due to like the dreads and all this crap he's got going on here. But I really like the paint on this guy. I'm, I'm telling you, the, the green that he has here, whatever this color is, turquoise, whatever. It's, all, it's on his armor, so that's really nice. I do really like that. So you can see it all, all through here, all through his um, body armor. That was his hand that just popped off again. I'm not going to worry about that right now. The skin texture, the, the paint scheme is just fantastic on this guy. It's the bottom of the feet. I love uh, the detailing on the feet. I mean, it just looks great. There's the uh, holster for his throwing disc. Again, um, I have a problem getting this to stay in there, but there's the throwing disc there. That's the only accessory he does come with, and he has his little claws here. The Scout Predator had blood on it. This one, uh, this one doesn't. There's a look at the hand. Very nice. It's just really, really cool. This is a little rope here with... Um, Whatever this is here, it's a one piece. Here's a backside shot. There's this right here also. You can see he's got some of that color there on, on his little weapon, forearm weapon thingy here. Here's the other side. And here's the hand. If you guys want to get a close look at the hand that keeps on popping off. So there's that there. Actually really, really nice. Just fantastic. I love 
the paint scheme on this guy is just really cool. Just pop that back in. Now, going over the articulation of the Warrior Predator, the uh, head can go up and down, can rotate side to side, the arms do go in and out, forward and back, it can bend at the uh, bicep, it's got rotation in the arm, the hands can go in and out, you know, and rotate, rotation at the waist, the legs do go in and out, forward and back, bend at the knee, uh, foot can go, you know, side to side and up and down, but, you know, it's a standard um, predator, necko predator articulation. But this is this is a figure I recommend you guys pick up. The uh, um, this is my second. I guess you can say this is my second favorite from the this series. I mean, there's only three figures, but this is the second one. I love the paint scheme on this guy. I just think the paint work is amazing. It's just amazing, and the the the, the helmet is awesome as well. And this hand keeps on popping off. Let's get that right back in there. But yeah, that's my review on this guy. And this is the last uh, figure from this series until we get the next series. All right, guys, this is Seha Man. Today we'll be taking a look at the NECA Predator. This is the uh, Warrior Predator, a fantastic figure. Get a quick top to bottom look. Highly recommend you guys pick this guy up. He is uh, available at Toys R Us now. So go check him out, guys. Thanks for watching my videos and stay tuned. Got a lot more on the way.